Cam Coleman flips his commitment from Texas A&M to Auburn. What does that mean going forward for Coach Mike Elko and Texas A&M's recruiting class? You are Locked On Aggies, your daily podcast on the Texas A&M Aggies. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome on in to Locked On Aggies. I'm your host, Andrew Stefaniak. Thanks for making Locked On Aggies your first listen every single day. We're going to have a little reaction show. The news just broke. Cam Coleman has flipped his commitment from Texas A&M to Auburn. Um, you know, I have some friends over in the Auburn market, and it seemed this does not come as a surprise to me. I felt like this was going to happen for a long time. You know, getting rid of Coach Craig, I think – that are, the Locked On Auburn host, Zach Blackerby, a good friend of mine, uh, actually did an episode saying, like, did Mike Elko hand Cam Coleman to Auburn by getting rid of the receivers coach? And, you know, I don't know if Coach Craig was the right guy for the job when it comes to coaching receivers at Texas A&M. We talked about it a lot this week on Locked On Aggies about how, you know, there was issues with he could recruit, but could he really develop? So, you know, I'm not going to lie. It doesn't come as a surprise that Cam Coleman flips. Really talented football player. And one thing I always say that you really don't like is a player that could help you, help your roster, leaving your team, you know, your recruiting class, and going to play for somebody else that you're going to be competing with. That is a serious issue. You know, I mean, this is a guy who could have been putting up 150 yards against Auburn, and now he might be putting up 150 yards against you. So that's definitely concerning. Losing Cam Coleman is a big deal. It's going to hurt this recruiting class. This this recruiting class is going to fall. It's going to take a step in the wrong direction. But it's what we talked about all week at um, on Lockdown Aggies. We said, like, I don't believe this is a reason to be concerned about Coach Elko, and we'll talk about that here in a minute. But – you know, I, it doesn't come as much of a surprise. Like I said, I, I kind of had a feeling you might see Cam Coleman make the move toward Auburn. He's a, he's a uh, somewhat local kid. He's from uh, Alabama. He's from around there. So, you know, when they got rid of Coach Craig, it definitely became more, I thought, the possibility, because that was kind of like, you know, his guy. It's, that's the receiver's coach. His coach is gone. I think before they even got rid of Coach Fisher, Coleman was, I wouldn't say leaning toward Auburn, but the rumors were there. He was definitely taking those phone calls. So, no, this doesn't, like I said, come as much of a surprise to me. It hurts. I mean, this is a kid that you would have had helping you for a long time. He's going to be an NFL player. Cam Coleman will be an NFL player, talented football player. Would have loved to see him in the maroon and white. Would have loved to see him in in Aggie land. But at the end of the day, He's flipping to Auburn, as disappointing that is, to lose a five-star receiver. Um, I believe that the future is bright for Coach Elko and bright for Texas A&M recruiting. So this is not what we're going to talk about up here next on this reaction show, Locked on Aggies, is I am not concerned about Coach Elko and his ability to recruit. Not concerned. I think this was kind of destined to happen. Destined to happen. So we'll talk about that coming up right here on Locked on Aggies. But first, I got to tell you about our friends over at FanDuel. As the weather gets colder, the NFL offers stay hot on FanDuel. Right now, new customers get $150 in bonus bets with any winning $5 money line bet. That's $150 if your team wins. If you've been thinking about joining FanDuel, there's no better time to get in on the action. The app is so easy to use. There's a wide range of betting options, including spreads, player props, over-unders, and more. I love using FanDuel. It's the app I use when I sports bet. It's a ton of fun to use. The app's easy to use. It's just an all-around great service. It's the best place to go sports gamble. I use it myself. All my buddies use it. You got to go check out FanDuel. They always have bonus bets. They always have boosts. Just a ton of stuff that uh, brings in more money for you, and there's just a ton of fun. So head over to FanDuel and check them out. Visit FanDuel.com slash locked on and kick off the NFL season. FanDuel, official partner of the NFL. 
So before we call it a day on this little reaction show, what I kind of want to talk about, I think people might be quick to go, oh, should we be worried about Coach Elko? Is this a problem? Should we be concerned about Coach Elko and what this means for the future? To me, the answer to that is a simple no. I'm not concerned about Coach Elko in the future. I believe he's going to be able to recruit. I believe he's going to hire coordinators, hire the, the people he needs to recruit at a high level. I, like I said, I don't want to say, you know, here's the deal. When, when Cam Coleman, I think he did wait a little bit to see who the hire was. I'm sure that Coach Elko reached out and had a phone call with Cam Coleman and, you know, eventually decided, you know, you can't be upset if you're Coach Elko. Cam Coleman was recruited by, you know, Coach Fisher, Coach Craig. He's an Alabama kid. The staff that recruited him is gone. He's going to go to Auburn. I get it. It makes sense. It's not something um, – I don't think Coach Elko's – I mean, obviously he's going to lose sleep because he would have loved to have had a Cam Coleman playing receiver for his football team. Whoever the next uh, uh, offensive coordinator is is going to lose sleep knowing we could have had this guy on our roster. But like I said, it just feels like this has kind of been destined to happen for a while. It seems like Cam Coleman's kind of had – I wouldn't say one foot out the door, but the Auburn rumors have been circulating for a very long time. But, um, you know, you still have some talented receivers committed in this class. Losing, you know, a Draylon Miller already and a Cam Coleman hurts. It, hurt, it hurts bad. I'm not like – I don't want to downplay losing these guys. It's a big deal. Auburn's getting a, a really good football player in Cam Coleman. But at the end of the day, um, the Aggies are going to have to hit the portal hard. They're going to have to do what they can do to field good players at the wide receiver position. Hopefully you're able to hang on to an Evan Stewart. You know, we haven't heard – um, there's still the rumors he might go, and we haven't heard anything on that really. But you still have some talent in that room if you can hang on to some guys. So while losing a Draylon Miller a few, you know, a month ago, whenever that was, losing to Cam Coleman is extremely painful. It hurts bad, and it's a big issue for the football program. At the end of the day, you're still gonna have some you still have talented receivers in this class. This class is still talented top to bottom. What I argued all week at Locked on Aggies, I said this. You are going to have – Coach Elko is not going to keep everybody on this roster and everybody on the, in this recruiting class to stay. You're going to lose some guys. Of course you, you, you would rather lose some of the lower-ranked guys than a Cam Coleman. I'm, of course, I want to reiterate this one more time. I'm not – I'm obviously upset about this. Losing a guy like a Cam Coleman hurts. I just feel like I kind of expected it. I feel like it was somewhat expected, so it's not like breaking news to me is what I'm kind of getting at here. I kind of saw it coming. It hurts. But you still have a talented recruiting class. You still have some talented receivers on uh, roster currently and in the class. I think this recruiting class is going to be okay. Mike Elko is going to be okay. I'm not upset with him. Everybody needs to stay calm. It's all going to be okay. You hate losing a guy to a, a rival SEC team. But at the end of the day, I trust in this coaching staff to put together the best roster possible and win football games. So best of luck to Cam Coleman and his um, uh, you know adventures at Auburn. Good luck to him. Texas A&M is going to be okay. Mike Elko is going to be okay. The Aggies will be just fine. That is going to do it for this reaction show. Hope everybody has an outstanding rest of your Friday. Has a great weekend, and we will see you next time right here, Locked on Aggies.